Hey guys, John here. Today we're gonna make a nice mini Moog lead with all the stuff we have here in Pigment. So let's go to the new preset. And for the wavetable, if you didn't know, we go to basic waveforms and then down here we have a synthesizers category. And scrolling down a little bit here, we have mini waveforms and this is a pretty cool wavetable. So let's take off morph and find a square wave. <laughs> And generally, if we're doing something kind of like this, I like dropping the square wave down to one octave, something like this, so negative 12 semitones on the course pitch. And that should be good for now, so let's go ahead and turn this off and check out the second engine and do kind of the same thing. Go back to the wavetable, go to synthesizers, and then to mini waveforms. And here, we want to take off morph again and then find a square or a saw wave. <laughs> And since technically the Mini Moog has three oscillators and here we're basically kind of limited to two engines here with this wavetable, we can cheat it a little bit by using two voices of unison. And giving some detune as well. And then we can bring back our square. And we're kind of getting that nasty sound there. Let's give a little release as well. And let's do maybe a legato for now for the play mode here. And then for the filter, what we can do here is we do have a mini filter, which is kind of cool. So we can use envelope two to modulate this just by a little bit. So I'm gonna bring this down pretty low for now and just attach our macro here, give it a good healthy amount and label this cut while we are here. So cut off, okay. So here is kind of, I guess, up to taste how you want this to be modulated, so. I kind of do like having a little bit of sustain on this envelope. Since we're here, we can always map the resonance and keep in mind that with this type of filter, the more resonance that you add, you're gonna lose a little bit of low end. So kind of just keep that in the back of your mind here. So double click, <laughs> relabel this as res. And I guess you can give this mesh amount here as you want. It's just gonna be controlled here. Okay, so next up, what we could do is now go a little bit into our effects here. So for the first one, I like doing the EQ and kind of just cleaning it up a little bit. And if you want the envelopes to re-trigger, you can always bring this from Logano to Mono. And it just depends on the play style that you would like. So for our next effect, we can go and add a Chorus Juno 6, and I always kind of like using the Mode 1 preset and kind of dialing down this dry wet a little bit. And for sound like this, I do like going to the multiband to kind of just dial in and kind of carve out our sound that we like. Maybe a little bit less release here.
Okay, so we can add a little bit of a delay here, just not too much. So go here to the delay. We could use the tape echo. That's probably a little bit more realistic. But in this case, I kind of want to reach for this guy. Go to ping pong, kind of give us some good stereo width. And maybe one over eight might be nice. High pass and a little bit of the low pass. And actually, I want to bring this down just by one little slot here. And for this guy, let's go for the distortion. And the soft clip is generally fine. I like bringing the dry wet down and bringing the, the, the drive up quite substantially. Gives just a little bit of hair on it. And for one of the last effects here, we can just use a little bit of reverb, but we do have to be careful, especially if we're doing some low end stuff. So go to our reverb, kind of bring down the dry wet and the high pass is generally in a good spot. Maybe we can just increase this just a little bit and dial down the low pass, maybe a little bit more dampening and then the pre-delay to maybe around 10 milliseconds or so. And one thing that kind of always feels a little bit authentic here is if we go into the keyboard and then adjust a little bit of our glide time. And sometimes if you do this with a conjunction with an arpeggiator, it's actually pretty cool. So we go to the arpeggiator here, bring these maybe down to two, and then the octave do this plus one. So we have something like this. Might be a little bit too fast. Let's go to one over eight. Yeah, that's kind of cool. You can decide if you want to have that or not. So I'll just leave this off just in case you do. So now we have two more macros. So we can just do the effects here because we have everything kind of dialed in. So macro four, let's go to the chorus Juno six. And that's what 17% add to 0.17. We're gonna leave the multi band here. That's kind of fine. I kind of like it like that. And then for the other ones, the distortion and then the delay and reverb. So distortion is 15%. So 0.15. And then we have delay, which is going to be 20%, 0.20, and then our reverb, which is 25, so 0.25, which it's always default and I always move it by accident. Anyway, bring this up and label this as FX here. So now we have one macro here left that we can choose from. What we can also do to make this a little bit interesting is maybe put this on the detune for the second wavetable. So maybe we can kind of leave it here on this spot here, so it's kind of really in pitch. And then we can get the third macro, drop it down here, and that might be a healthy amount. Let's see how it is. Maybe around there might be kind of cool. So we have a good healthy range, so label this as detune, something like that, and see how this sounds. <laughs> Definitely kind of fun with the arm there, but yeah, that's that's kind of cool because we can use these wave tables and kind of get those waveforms, run it through a similar filter, and then just kind of do what we want after that. And we can always check the tuning here. Maybe we want to drop this also down one octave, see how that would sound.
would be kind of cool as well. That would be kind of interesting too. So I kind of really like that effect here as well. I do wish we had another macro for that. What we could probably do actually is get the mod wheel and put something like that on this. So get the mod wheel, put this on that like that. So if we have our mod wheel down, Yes, yeah, so we're going to map that one to the mod wheel. I guess that would be kind of an appropriate spot here. So with the mod wheel down, we kind of do have a similar kind of inspiration of a mini moog. Then we bring this up and we do some phase mod here, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. I'll save this with the mod wheel down and then kind of figure out some kind of cool name before I upload this. So if you want to get this patch, there's a link in the video description below. It can be yours. Hopefully you learned something through this video and we'll see you in the next video.